bring them from back here or from up there? Wherever you want, baby. It's up to you. You gonna bring them in from back there? They gotta come back, come this way. All right, well, I'll, I'll come in whenever you need. Okay. To. No problem. Thank I'll you. I'll be glad to. Yes, sir.
Though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. I know that my Redeemer liveth, that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin work destroyed this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall be whole and not enough. We brought nothing into this world. And it is certain we can carry nothing else. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I said, I will take you to my way.
afternoon. We want to thank all of you for coming out as we celebrate the life of our beloved Lily Stevenson. Amen? Amen. Amen. For the beautiful flowers, your prayers, and especially for your presence, this precious family would have me to say thank you. God bless you. And all they ask of you is to keep them lifted up in prayer. Amen? Amen. Thank you for your obedience this morning. We're going to follow this poem that's printed. Thank you and God bless you. Scripture readings for today for this wonderful woman of God, a woman that I grew to know well, a woman who was faithful, hardworking, a woman knew that one day she would meet Jesus. Psalm 23, as presented in the King James Version. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup run it over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Is that all right, church? Amen. 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 I pray that everyone understands what the psalmist David was saying. That there's none like God. That he's all that every one of us needs to overcome the world. New Testament reading is taken from Paul's letter to the church at Corinth. 1 Corinthians 15th chapter beginning with the 50th verse. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But Paul writes, Thanks be to God, which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know 
that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Let me hear the church say amen. 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 When you're in the Lord, your work is not in vain. Amen. Because he will use you and he will allow you to represent who he is yes, he will. in kingdom building. Is that all right? It's all right. All right. Sister Lily, I'm going to take this moment. I could talk about her all day because that's the kind of lady that she was. She never got tired of doing good things. She never ran out of energy to make a difference in the church and in the life of people she encountered. And she would bake a cake at a heartbeat. Am I right? It's all right to smile. We're celebrating. Amen. And the cake would be fabulously delicious. I told her I had to stop eating her cakes because I was losing my schoolboy figure. <laughs> Amen. To God be the glory. Let us now prepare our hearts and minds for prayer. father to the fathers. 
that you are a mother to the motherless, that you are a brother, a sister to those who've lost a loved one. Now, Father, have your way. Let the service be a memorial. Let it remind us that there is the joy of knowing you in our lives. This we pray in the mighty, majestic, and marvelous name of Jesus, who is the Christ. And all of God's children say amen. 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 And amen. 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 My brothers and sisters, if our conditions, our circumstances were different, wherever we held the service, I'm confident that the house would be full. Mm -hmm. Because everybody knew Lily. And it, if you knew her, it was hard not to love her. Mm -hmm. Because she was a sweet lady. Mm -hmm. And we, we hope that there'll come an opportunity where we can celebrate her. Amen. We're dealing in some difficult times right now. We don't know how long or what God has in store. But brothers and sisters, can I just take a moment here before I go to the eulogy to say that we have to be mindful of our circumstance. We can't do our own thing. Y'all hear me? We cannot do our own thing. Can I, can I take a moment here and just say a few things? I've heard on the news that a bunch of folk got together to party. Brothers and sisters, I don't know whether they were our brothers and sisters or, or not, but neither one of the groups needs to get together not when we're dealing with a virus that can take one out in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. A virus that can attack another person and they never know they had. Mm -hmm. But they become a carrier. And somebody else then has the disease because they got in contact with a carrier mm -hmm. who showed no symptoms. What I'm saying is we have to be wise and careful. Amen. We have to be cautious. And, you know, I, I would never want to put on a mask or put on gloves, but I realize that I'm not in control here. Mm -hmm. and I have to be the best I can be. I don't know what God has in store for me tomorrow, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to put myself in jeopardy to find out. Amen? Amen. 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 In the book of Timothy, I'm, I'm going to say one other thing. The presiding elder of the Winston-Salem district sent me a message this morning and asked me to share his love with this family. He had gotten to know Lily. He, in his message, he said that uh, she was a dedicated and hardworking lady. Mm -hmm. And for those who know a little bit about our church, we have an event each year, and she won that event one year. And if I had to make an assumption, she probably made 50 cakes <laughs> and sold either old or pieces of those cakes to help win that event. That event included people all over Western North Carolina, including Charlotte, Gastonia, and other places. But she was determined that she was going to win. Mm -hmm. And he got to know her because she was committed to that work. And the purpose of that work was to help needy churches. And she was so impressive in the way she presented herself and the work that she did. And on behalf of the Golden Metropolitan Church, I, I want to say that our family mourns her loss. Beautiful voice, sang on the choirs, 
deaconess, a committed, willing worker, Women's Home and Overseas Missionary Society, so many things that she was a part of. I wonder sometimes how she had the time for everything she did. But brothers and sisters, I would say this to you, that I pray that you have the kind of love for Christ that she had. Because he'll fix it for you. He'll enable you to do wonderful things, not only in your life, but in the life of those <coughs> that you encounter. And that was what I would classify as a wonderful Christian woman in Lily Stevens. Amen. 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 In the book of 2 Timothy, the fourth chapter, verses 7 and 8, we find these words. I have fought the good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them also that love is appearing. I want to talk with you for a few moments from the theme, a new chapter. A new chapter. Brothers and sisters, our lives are like reading a novel. I don't know how many of you do much reading, but most of the time there are many chapters that discuss the theme of the writing. Many chapters discuss in our individual novels our earthly existence. Perhaps for some there is a chapter beginning the book called Childhood. This is where we begin to learn who we are and what's expected of us. A chapter called Adolescence. This is usually a turbulent period in our earthly existence. When I say turbulence, we can't be told and we won't listen. Is that clear? We move on to adulthood. And when we get to adulthood, we'll find many subchapters are recorded. There is marriage often as a part of adulthood our own children, part of adulthood, job and or career as part of our adulthood. There are friends that we establish and relationships. But then there is also for many the opportunity of salvation and church. And I know that church is not as popular as it used to be. Because many of our young people and young adults have determined that I don't need church like my mother or my father used to have. We feel like church is obsolete, outdated. That if I want church, I can turn on the TV and get some church. And when I've had enough, I can turn it off. Am I right about it? Right. However, <clears throat> there is one topic that is consistent in every novel of life. That topic is death. I don't care who you are. You're going to have to deal with death. And for those who 
can write or someone writing on your behalf, they're going to have to write your story to include the topic of death. For some who are in the world, for some who choose to stay in the world, death is the final chapter. End of the novel of the lives of those who find their joy in the world. Now, we've learned that for all those who are in Christ Jesus, I didn't come here to judge you today, but you know whether you're in Christ Jesus or not. You know whether you've made the sacrifices to magnify and glorify the name of the Lord. You know whether you've decided that you're going to be on the Lord's side. That even when it doesn't look popular, that you're going to hold on to his unchanging hand. You know that when you can't solve the mysteries of life, that there is one you can call on who has all power in his hand. Amen. Still able to destroy, but able to defend. Yeah. You know this for yourself. All those in Christ Jesus, death is not final. Aren't you glad about that? Amen. But just the end of a chapter. Mm -hmm. For when you turn the page from death, if you are in Christ Jesus, you're going to see a new chapter. Mm -hmm. Do I have any joy in here? Right. A chapter that is titled life. Yes. Eternal life. However, before you can get to this final chapter, you have to run that race that takes us through life. Yeah. The Apostle Paul teaches us that life is like a race. And in that race, you need some important elements if you want to make it to the finish line. Amen. You've got to have Faith, you know the substance of things hoped for, yes. evidence of things not necessarily seen. Right. John 6, chapter 40th verse says, And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son, everyone which believeth on the Son, may have eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. Is that all right for anybody? Amen. John eleven twenty three reminds us Jesus teaches us something about faith. <coughs> Bible says when Jesus finally gets to Bethany to respond to the request of Mary and Mark. He was aware that his friend Lazarus was dead. But Martha said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother had not died. But Jesus, but I know that even now, whatsoever you will ask of God, God will give thee. Jesus said to Martha, my brother shall rise again. Martha said, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. But Jesus said to Martha, I am the resurrection. I am the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. But beyond faith, you got to have some hope. Hope is something that lets you know no matter what you face, no matter what the adversity that you encounter, when life is not treating you well, there is still hope that sooner or later the Lord is going to intervene. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later he's going to change your situation. Yeah. Anybody in here witness to yeah. knowing that the Lord is able to 
change your situation. Yes. Yes. Anybody understand that if you hold on to his unchanging hand, even if you don't know where you're going, that he'll see you through. Yes. John 14 and 2 says, In my father's house. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the word my is a possessive pronoun. Mm -hmm. It means that he is my father. Mm -hmm. In my father's house are many mansions. Yeah. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Ain't that all right? Yes. And if I go and prepare a place for you, that's where I am, that ye may also be. Right. Isn't it wonderful to know that 2 Corinthians, Paul wrote, For we know by faith and hope that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands. A house eternal in the heavens. Yes. Brothers and sisters, but there's one other element that you have to have. You have to have some love mm -hmm. if you want to get over. Yeah. Right. Right. You got to have the knowledge that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but shall have everlasting life. Yes. Brothers and sisters, I, I wonder how many of you understand that you can overcome the world not by your power, mm -hmm. but through the power of the Lord and Savior Jesus, yes. who is the Christ. Yes. If you love one another as I have loved you, as Jesus has loved us, mm -hmm. then we ought to love one another. We never should get excited about turning our back on each other. If you know Jesus, you realize that when you were in your sin, he yet died for you, Amen. that you might have everlasting life. When you didn't know how to love others, you got love from him. And because you've got that kind of love, you owe that kind of love. You need to be able to tell folk who not treating you right that I still love you. Yes. And ain't a thing you can do about it. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, when you've got that kind of love, then it becomes easy to know that when Jesus calls you home, that all you've got to do is look up and realize that I'm crossing over the Jordan River. What I used to be, I'm not anymore. I'm a new creation. I'm crossing over, and I now can write a new chapter. And in my new chapter, I'm going to write about streets paid with gold. Yes. Right. In my new chapter, I'm, I'm going to write about the reality that, that there's no more sickness, yes. Yes. no more pain, yes. no more trouble, yes. that, that, that I can walk around heaven. Mm. There's no sickness in me that, that I'm totally new. Mm -hmm. How many of us are ready for a new chapter? Yes. Sooner or later, you need to be able to write a new chapter. Yes. And tell somebody that the Lord is your shepherd. Yes. Tell somebody that I know that my Redeemer lives. Yes. Tell somebody that I can enter into his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. I can be thankful unto him and bless his name. Yes. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yes. Anybody willing to praise the Lord every now and then? I know it's not popular in the world, but in Christ Jesus, if you can give God a little bit of praise, yeah. he'll give you what you need. Yeah. If you're willing to serve him in spirit and in truth, yeah. he'll make a way out of nowhere. Yeah. Am I right about it, church? Yeah. You ought to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise yeah. his holy and yeah. righteous name. Yeah. Don't worry about what the world thinks of you. Yeah. The world can't put you in heaven. That's yeah. right. Yeah. But Jesus can. Yeah. Yeah. And your new chapter ought to begin with words. One day I saw Jesus and his angel. They told me that your battle is over. That you fought a good fight. Finished your course. 
Now I want you to come on up because I've got a place for you. You've got your own mansion. Aren't you glad about it? Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. 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 Family, find joy. Don't let tears take you over. Oh yeah, we know you hurt. But every time you think about what the Lord has done for you through your mother, through your grandmother, mm -hmm. through your sister, every time you think about what he has allowed you to share, just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And your trial will become your joy. Yes. Amen. And God has given you a wonderful lady. Mm -hmm. Her footsteps are going to be hard to follow. But I do believe that if you let her motivate you, that you're going to make a difference in a world that needs to know Jesus. Lily knew it. Lily was committed. And Lily was determined. And I would love to see New chapter in her book. Amen. God bless you. We're going to prepare now for the committal. Shall I do it from here? All right. Amen. We're dealing with difficult times. And difficult times require different things. Man that is born of a woman has but a short time to live and is cut down like a flower. She fleeth as it were a shadow and never continueth in one state. In the midst of life, we are in death. Of whom may we seek for succor, but of thee, O Lord, who for our own sins was justly displeased. Yet, O Lord God most holy, O Lord most mighty, O holy and most merciful Savior, deliver us not into the bitter pains of eternal death. Thou knowest, Lord, the secrets of our heart. Shut not thy merciful ears to our prayer, but spare us, Lord, most holy. O God, most mighty, O holy and merciful Savior, thou most worthy judge eternal, suffer us, not in our last hour, but in pains of death, to fall from thee. For as much as it hath pleased Almighty God in his wise providence, take out of the world the soul of the departed. We therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Looking for the general resurrection and the last day and the life of the world to come, through our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose second coming in glorious majesty to judge the world, the earth and see shall give up their dead and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his own glorious body according to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself i heard a voice from heaven saying unto me right from henceforth blessed are the dead who die in the lord even so saith the Spirit, for they rest from their labors. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. O merciful God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the resurrection and the life, in whom whosoever believeth shall live, though he die. Whosoever liveth and believeth in him shall not die eternally. 
we meekly beseech thee, O Father, to raise us from the dead of sin to the life of righteousness, that when we shall depart this life, we may rest in him, and at the general resurrection, at the last day, may be found acceptable in his sight, and receive that blessing which thy well-beloved Son shall then pronounce to all them that love and fear thee, saying, Come, ye blessed children of my Father, receive the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Grant this, we beseech thee, O merciful Father, through Jesus Christ, our mediator and redeemer. Amen. 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 Join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. And now, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with you now, henceforth, and forevermore. Let the church say amen. Amen. Say amen again. Amen. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Reverend Wilson. I want to thank you again for participating today <coughs> in your obedience. We also would like to extend our greatest thanks to the Winston Salem Sheriff, the South County Sheriff's Department. Thank you so much for all your help <coughs> in assisting this family today. If you are traveling with us to the cemetery, we ask that keep in mind once we get there, there will be limited uh, access to the, um, the burial. So if you're going, please put on your high beam lights and your emergency flashers, and then follow your directions from your funeral director once you arrive at Park Mall Memorial Park. We're going to ask for two, <coughs> two ladies to assist us in carrying these flowers. Everyone except the family, please stand. I'd get two ladies to help us carry the flowers. I mean, uh, six pallbearers, please, if you would be so kind. And we want to thank this family for sharing this Jesus with so many people. She bought us a pound cake a couple of months ago, and we will always remember her for her love and thoughtfulness. Thank you, Stevenson family, and may God bless you. I 
Mm-hmm.